Yeremiyahu, Jeremiah 51. Thus says Yahuwah, Behold, I will raise up against Babel and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind and will send unto Babel fanners that shall fan her and shall empty eth her land for in the day of evil they shall be against her round about against him that bends let the archer bend his bow and against him that lifts himself up in his brigadine and spare ye not her young men destroy ye utterly all her host thus the slain shall fall in the land of the kasdim and they that are thrust through her rather in her streets for yashadael has not been forsaken nor yahuda of his elohim of yahuah sevaoth though their land was filled with sin against the holy one of yashadael flee out of the midst of babel and deliver every man his soul be not cut off in her iniquity for this is the time of Yahuwah's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Babel has been a golden cup in Yahuwah's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. And therefore the nations are mad. And Babel is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Howl for her. Take balm for her pain. If so, be she may be healed. We would have healed Eth Babel, but she is not healed. Forsake her, and let us go, every one, into his own country, for her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Yahuwah has brought forth Eth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Sion at the work of Yahuwah Eloheinu. Make bright the arrows, gather the shields. Yahuwah has raised up at the Ruach of the kings of Madai, for his device is against Babel to destroy it. Because it is the vengeance of Yahuwah, the vengeance of his temple. Set up the standard upon the walls of Babel. Make the watch strong. Set up the watchmen. Prepare the ambushes. For Yahuwah has both devised and done at that which he spoke against the inhabitants of Babel. O you that dwell upon many waters, abundant in treasures, your end is come and the measure of your covetousness. Yahuwah Sabaoth has sworn by himself, saying, Surely I will fill you with men as with caterpillars, and they shall lift up a shout against you. He has made the earth by his power. He has established the world by his wisdom, and has stretched out the heavens by his understanding. When he utters his voice, there is a multitude of waters in the heavens, and he causes the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He makes lightnings with rain and brings forth the wind out of his treasures. Every man is brutish by his knowledge. Every founder is confounded by a graven image. For his molten image is falsehood, and there is no breath in them. They are vanity, the work of errors. In the time of their visitation, they shall perish. The portion of Yaakov is not like them, for he is the former of all things. And Yashadael is the rod of his inheritance. Yahuwah Savaoth is his name. You are my battle axe and weapons of war. For with you will I break in pieces the nations, 
and with you will I destroy kingdoms, and with you will I break in pieces the horse and his rider, and with you will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With you also will I break in pieces man and woman, and with you will I break in pieces old and young, and with you will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. I will also break in pieces with you the shepherd and his flock. And with you will I break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen. And with you will I break in pieces captains and rulers. And I will render unto Babel and to all the inhabitants of Kazdimaeth all their evil that they have done in Sion. In your sight, says Yahweh. Behold, I am against you, O destroying mountain, says Yahuwah, which destroyeth all the earth, and I will stretch out eth my hand upon you, and roll you down from the rocks, and will make you a burnt mountain, and they shall not take of you a stone for a corner, nor a stone for foundations, but you shall be desolate forever, says Yahuwah. Set ye up a standard in the land, blow the shofar among the nations, prepare the nations against her, call together against her the kingdoms of Ararat, Mini, and Ashkenaz. Appoint a captain against her, cause the horses to come up as the rough caterpillars. Prepare against her at the nations with the kings of Madai, Eth the captains thereof, and eth all the rulers thereof, and eth all the land of his dominion. And the land shall tremble in sorrow, for every purpose of Yahuwah shall be performed against Babel, to make eth the land of Babel desolation without an inhabitant. The mighty men of Babel have forborne to fight. They have remained in their holds. Their might has failed. They became as women. They have burned her dwelling places. Her bars are broken. One post shall run to meet another, and one messenger to meet another, to show the king of Babel that his city is taken at one end, and that the passages are stopped. And uh, the reeds they have burned with fire, and the men of war are frightened. For thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, the yellow high of Yashadael, the daughter of Babel is like a threshing floor. It is time to thresh her, yet a little while, and the time of her harvest shall come. Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babel, has devoured me. He has crushed me. He has made me an empty vessel. He has swallowed me up like a dragon. He has filled his belly with my delicates. He has cast me out. The violence done to me and to my flesh be upon Babel. Shall the inhabitants of Sion say, And my blood upon the inhabitants of Kazdima, shall Yerushalayim say? Therefore thus says Yahweh, Behold, I will plead at your cause, and take vengeance at for you, and I will dry up at her sea, and make at her springs dry, and Babel shall become heaps, a dwelling place for dragons, an astonishment, and a hissing without an inhabitant. They shall roar together like lions, and they shall yell as lions whelps. In their heat I will make at their feasts, and I will make them drunken, that they may rejoice. 
and sleep a perpetual sleep and not wake, says Yahuwah. I will bring them down like lambs to the slaughter, like rams with he-goats. How is Sheikh Shach taken, and how is the praise of the whole earth surprised? How is Babel become an astonishment among the nations? The sea is come up upon Babel. She is covered with the multitude of the waves thereof. Her cities are a desolation, a dry land and a wilderness, a land wherein no man dwells, neither does any son of Adam pass thereby. And I will punish Baal in Babel, and I will bring forth out of his mouth that which he hath has swallowed up, and the nations shall not flow together any more unto him. Yea, the wall of Babel shall fall. My people, go ye out of the midst of her, and deliver ye every man at his soul from the fierce anger of Yahuwah. And lest your heart faint, and ye fear for the rumor that shall be heard in the land. A rumor shall both come one year, and after that in another year shall come a rumor, and violence in the land, ruler against ruler. Therefore, behold, the days come that I will do judgment upon graven images of Babel, and her whole land shall be confounded, and all her slain shall fall in the midst of her. Then the heavens and the earth, and all that is therein, shall sing for Babel, for the spoilers shall come unto her from the north, says Yahuwah. As Babel has caused the slain of Yashadael to fall, so at Babel shall fall the slain of all the earth. Ye that have escaped the sword, go away, stand not still. Remember at Yahuwah far off, and yet Yahushalayim come into your mind. We are confounded because we have heard reproach. Shame has covered our faces, for strangers are come into the sanctuaries of Yahuwah's house. Wherefore, behold, the days come, says Yahuwah, that I will do judgment upon her graven images, and through all her land the wounded shall groan. Though Babel should mount up to heaven, and though she should fortify the height of her strength, yet from me shall spoilers come unto her, says Yahuwah. A sound of a cry comes from Babel, and great destruction from the land of the Kazdim, because Yahuwah has spoiled Eth Babel, and destroyed out of her the great voice. When her waves do roar like great waters, a noise of their voice is uttered, because the spoiler is come upon her, even upon Babel, and her mighty men are taken. Every one of their bows is broken, for Yahuwah El of recompenses shall surely requite. And I will make drunk her princes and her wise men, her captains and her rulers and her mighty men, and they shall sleep a perpetual sleep and not awake, says the king, whose name is Yahuwah Sevaoth. Thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, The broad walls of Babel shall be utterly broken, and her high gates shall be burned with fire, and the people shall labor in vain, and the folk in the fire, and they shall be weary. The word which Yeremiyahu, the prophet, 
commanded at Serayahu, the son of Neriyahu, the son of Maaseyahu, when he went with Eth Sidikyahu, the king of Yahuda, into Babel, in the fourth year of his reign. And this Serayahu was a quiet prince. So, Yirmiyahu wrote in a sefer, Eth all the evil that should come upon Bebel. Eth even all these words that are written against Bebel. And Yirmiyahu said to Serayahu, When you come to Bebel and shall see and shall read Eth all these words, then shall you say, O Yahuwah, you have spoken against this place to cut it off that none shall remain in it, neither man nor beast, but that it shall be desolate forever. And it shall be, when you have made an end of reading at this sefer, that you shall bind a stone to it and cast it into the midst of Parath. And you shall say, Thus shall, rather, thus shall Babel sink, and shall not rise from the evil that I will bring upon her, and they shall be weary. Thus far are the words of Yeremiyahu.